What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be going to the gym, having a push day. I always start my videos off right here in my living room, as you guys can see. So right now I'm gonna head over to LA Fitness. As many of you guys know, um, I do work in LA Fitness, but uh, today's my day off, so I'm gonna go to the gym, record some fit for you, tell you what kind of workouts you should do on your push day. At the moment, I'm following um, Dylan McKenna's program, the intermediate one. So I did purchase it on the Athlete app. Um, this program has gave me great results. So I suggest you guys to you know go check them out. Um, and yeah, guys, right now I'm about to take my pre-workout. Head over to the gym. Alright, so I got to the gym. I'm gonna be starting my warm ups and I'm gonna be getting right into the workout. I'm almost finished with my push day. I'm gonna finish with flat bench. the q a now um so the first question comes from megmay.lift on instagram her question is how many days a week would you say your workouts are high intensity i would say at least three times a week or for actually my whole week is high intensity the reason why is because i do push pull push pull so i make sure my first week i go heavy the second week i go moderate the third week i go heavy and then my fourth week i do a deal which is more repetitions, lower weight, like 65% of my max. I'm pretty sure you guys see it on my Instagram as well. The second question is from underscore sr underscore 26 on Instagram. When you first started losing weight, what exercises did you start off with and what type of foods did you cut off? Um, okay, so when I first started, I would follow with what everyone follows on the gym, once, well, the gym I go to. Um, I didn't know what kind of workouts to do. I was lost. I was completely lost after I lost on my way at the park doing cardio. Um, it was actually my first time actually concentrating and trying to pick up weights. Every time I went to the gym, I would focus on the cardio machine. And this time I was just focusing on just picking up weights. Why I got too skinny. Um, so, let's say Monday, Thursday, I would do chest and triceps. Tuesday, Friday, I would do back and biceps. And Wednesdays and Saturdays, I would do legs and shoulders. That was my workout routine for a good six months, seven months. Those were my workouts when I first started, my first six, six months of lifting. Um, what type of food did I cut off? Oh my God. 
So in high school I was in football, and every time after our football games, we would go to uh, some restaurant called Alberto's. Um, I would always order super fries, which was fries, beans, cream, cheese, carne asada, and I'll show you guys a picture right here. And that's what I will always order in that restaurant or a super burrito, whatever it's called, carne asada burrito. Um, I would also cut off pizza. I would order a box of pizza for myself. The first week of when I started dieting and I took it serious, I'm trying to lose weight because I've tried it so many times. I've tried it at least five times trying to lose weight. And the four times I tried, I failed. And so my fifth time, I'm like, you know what? It's time to make a change. Why? I went to the doctors. Um, this was actually when it clicked to me. I know this is off the question, but when I went to the doctors, they were like, okay, dude, you're 305 pounds. You're super close on getting diabetes. And I was like, no, I cannot get diabetes. I am 17 years old, you know. I'm too young to be getting diabetes. I still got a whole life ahead of me. Um, so that's when I decided to make the change. I actually tried, I actually stopped drinking soda, juices, Gatorade, all that, etc. And I would get my ass to the park. I would go play basketball or go run more than two miles a day. Actually, I will go run two times a day. I think I made a video about this, my first video. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that was, it was crazy. So let's go to a third question. A question from blazed underscore J dot 17. How do you get your motivation to work out? So I get my motivation to go work out by thinking about where I started. I just think back of how I looked before, the clothes. I will always go to the mall trying to pick out some new jeans, you know, all oh, the, the jeans over in style. Shirts that were badass and they had no more than XL. Like, I was a 2X, so it was hard for me to find shirts. When I would put on a shirt, either ways, my love handles would always show, my stomach, everything, my man boobs. And, and it was stressful trying to find shirts, or actually it was super stressful trying to find jeans, because I was a 44 on waist. and. That really sucked actually. I lost all that weight. It was crazy because I went inside my closet and there's still jeans that fit me big. They're 46 on waist. And now I weigh 34 on waist, 36 on waist. And it feels super good, you know, because I get to wear the jeans I like. I Like I said, it's, it's crazy. It's working out just a passion of mine because I enjoy it. Stress, it takes a lot of stress out of my mind. Um, and I love seeing my body transform. I already saw it once and I want to see it twice because I'm going to compete in men's physique so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully soon. The fourth question is from Jan 94. How to counter on loose skin after weight loss? You seem like you seem like have very firm skin despite you lost a lot of weight. Alright guys, so a lot of people ask me this question. When I, when I was 305 pounds, I was six foot three. When I lost 110 pounds, I grew two inches. So I'm 6'5 right now. And my loose skin is not noticeable. Yes, I do have loose skin. It's all stretched out. My chest is kind of low. Why? Because I'm supposed to have loose skin. I had man boobs. They were huge, as you guys can see in this picture. And yeah, it's. I like the way I look. Um, I'm grateful that my I don't have a lot of loose skin. And, you know, I have a lot of stretch marks. I have it on my stomach, my back, my sides, my arms. And I, I, like, those, I like those stretch marks. Why? Because I have a story behind it. And, I mean, when people ask me about my stretch marks, I always tell them my weight loss because of my weight loss story. And people get motivated. I mean, that's why I made this channel. That's why I made my Instagram from the beginning to motivate as much people as I can. Um, whoever's out there in the journey, good luck. I'm here for you guys. Just DM me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat at Happy and Fit, and um, just ask me a question, guys. I will be responding. I am more than happy to help you guys out during your journey. Uh, Vicky underscore forty five. What kind of protein shakes were you taking while losing weight? Um, I actually took no protein shakes. When I was losing weight, all I drank was water, um, ate my foods, ate my veggies, and you know I avoided shakes. I don't know, it was just something that 
I wasn't looking into it. I wasn't interested in. But yeah, I didn't take no shakes. All right. So the next question is from Super Mario seventy seven. Did you try keto to lose weight? What did you eat in the beginning? What do you feel was the most important thing you did to stay on track during your journey? All right. So I did not try the keto diet. I didn't have no diet. I just followed the diet that I thought was good for me. Um, I just ate healthier. I made healthier choices. Um, what do you eat in the beginning? So I kind of said it in my first vlog. Um, I will always eat chicken breast. That's the only thing I eat. Salmon, tilapia. And even though I heard tilapia ain't that good for you because of where they were raised and all that. They're cheap. Yeah. But um, I always go with chicken breast. You can never go wrong with chicken breast. Um, steamed veggies, steamed broccoli, steamed carrots, everything. I like my veggies steamed. So I will always eat chicken breast, steamed veggies, and water. But yeah, that was my diet for seven months, six months straight. I will not, I didn't have no cheat day, nothing. Just water, straight diet. Um, I stay consistent in my journey. Why? Because like I said, I failed it four times already. And I said enough is enough. Um, I just focus, I just look, kept looking straight. Every day I will always go run. Why? Because I had a reach to go. My mindset got str my mindset got stronger and stronger. Um, like I said, if you really want it, you gotta go for it. You will do a lot of sacrifices. Like I said, the first two weeks were tough. My stomach was always growling at night. Uh, I was always rolling in bed. It was painful, but I had to switch that mindset that I have about just eating at late at night. I will always have my big bowls of cereal. With those Fruit Loops, they're not mine by the way, but um, I always get a big bowl of cereal, dip a bunch of cereal, and a lot of milk. And I mean, I've been big bone all my life, so like I said, you gotta switch your mindset and stay consistent and motivated, you know? Okay, another question from Sort Fitness. How was your journey this far? My journey is going good. Um, like I said, I've gotten stronger. I've gotten bigger. So I'm bulking up to the end of March. I'm gonna start leaning out till June because I'm trying to look good for June, you know, summer shirtless. And yeah, my journey is going good so far. Like I said, I've still got a lot of goals to reach and try to get into that men's physique comp competition. All right. So the next question is from Jack underscore Daniels. Is, How do you like the lifestyle fitness comparing to your old life? So, I like my lifestyle now because I'm always active. I love lifting weights. And before, I would always stay in my room and play video games. That's all I would do. I would never leave my room at all. My family would go to parties, would go to the mall, and I would always stay in my room stuck in my little man cave. So, the next question is from Guada underscore underscore RMZ02. Um, the question is, did you do a lot of cardio when you were losing weight? I did a ton load of cardio. I ran for seven months straight, non-stop. Um, I will run two times a day in the morning and at, at night. And I will come back home like around 11 at night, 12 at night. Um, the thing is that when I had my last meal, I don't know. It was just me. It was just a mindset. Whenever I had the last meal, I will go run. I had to go run to go burn it off, supposedly. But yeah, that's what I would do. Run two times a day for at least two hours in the morning, two hours at night. So this question is from Alberto. Um, what is the fastest way to lose weight? Should I focus on cardio or weights? Thanks. So recommended doing the weights because it's a safe, safer way to do it. Um, if you have a diet plan, a meal plan that you follow, you work out, you do cardio, you do weights, you, if you do that, you will lose weight. It's a slower process, but it's a more safer way. Like I said, if you do it my way, which is just losing weight doing cardio, you do lose a ton, a ton of muscle, but you lose fat. I mean, I lost more muscle than fat, but I mean, I got too skinny. You can start seeing my rib cage, and my friends were just like, whoa, are you starving yourself? And no, I would not starve myself. Like I said, I ran so much that I got too skinny. But the safest and more beneficial way is doing cardio and weightlifting. So I picked 12 questions. I answered them. Um, I will be doing another Q&A video in the next four or five videos. But yeah, guys, uh, 
make sure you guys stay in contact with me on my Instagram, my Snapchat. I mean, that's the only thing I use. But yeah, guys, hope you like this Q&A video. I will be making more in the near future, um, like in the next five videos coming up. But I hope you guys like the workout I did earlier and hope these questions, these answers helped you out. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.